Okay, this is the battery I got. It is from Rebel Batteries, a small outfit, outfit in Texas. For 400 amp hours, right there. Here's what it looks like. Um, it's made in China. Then to this, um, built to the specifications, um, it has a low temperature sensor, um, and and also has a Bluetooth app that you could use with it. So let's um, take it out and well, let's show you also the the current battery. Let's go over the trailer over here. See, the current battery is a hundred amp hour battery provided by the trailer manufacturer. Um, and we'll just swap one in for another. The purpose of this battery swap is not because I want to run high usage appliances like a microwave or electric heater or, or some stuff like that. Because for that, I would actually have to upgrade the inverter too and, and, pro and the wires. Um, but just replacing the battery, I, I just want to use the battery for a longer amount of time, not use high wattage appliances. That's the purpose of this replacing the battery. So I'm going to have to take this old battery out, take the strap, unscrew the, unscrew the, the bottom bracket there and, and move it over. Um, and just reattach these, unhook and reattach these cables. Before I do that, I need to cover up the the rooftop solar. You're not supposed to have solar um, working um, with the battery off. Um, it could damage the solar controller. So what I'm going to do is cover it with a tarp. And also, I'm, I'm going to turn off the switch. It's behind the battery box down here. It's hard to see the cutoff switch, but it's back there. What else do I have to do? Um, well, that's it. Let's, let's see what happens. I had a sleeping pad and covered up the rooftop solar. So it would be not producing any solar energy. Let's verify that. I also turned off the inverter here by pressing this power button for a few seconds. And let's see, the reading right now is wrong, wrong meter. The reading on the monitor down here is we have 93 amp hours in the battery and right now it's neither charging or discharging. You see zero amps, zero watts there. So we're all good to go. I have the old and new New batteries side by side here. The one on the left was provided by Armadillo. It's 100 um, amp hours. And the one on the right is from Rebel Batteries, uh, 400 amp hours. It weighs 88 pounds about, um, which is 40 kilograms. One on the left, I don't know how much it weighs. It feels like 20 pounds or 10 kilograms. Um, so, of course, it's a lot heavier and bigger. Um, the height is about the same of the battery. Um, it's longer, of course, and it's a little bit um, deeper too. The, the, um, about a couple inches and more in depth. The only concern I have is um, that it might get too close to the inverter, but there's good flow, airflow in there anyway there's a vent in the back and a vent in the front front of the inverter, and there's space below the inverter, and there's space, the same space above the battery. So I think I'll be fine. Um, so the next step is to put it in the box here, right there. I removed two of the brackets. I'll just reinstall them and also put reinstall install the strap over the new battery here, and we'll see what happens.
I have the new battery installed and, it, and it's um, working. Uh, let's see what, what I did. So I had to move the bracket here, um, bracket out about a couple inches. Same with the bracket on this side. Um, the both terminals on this battery are on the same side. So this black terminal, instead of going on, on the far side, it, it's on the near side. I'm going to need to get a shorter cable just to be cleaner. Um, but for now, I just um, tied that together just to keep it from touching anything else like the other the other cables or the inverter. It has Bluetooth capability. You can turn it on or off by pressing that button. If it, when it's on, you can download an app, which I haven't done yet, um, that shows you state of charge and other information about the battery. So for now, I'll just turn it off. Um, and after I installed it, I well, I I set closed the breaker there. See right in the back. So you could trigger the breaker, test it, or close it. Uh, so, uh, uh, down below, I had to re enable the shutoff switch there. And let's turn on the inverter just to. See if everything's working. Now the battery monitor shows it as um, 88 amp hours and 89%. So that needs to be changed. I need to change the capacity. Tell it that it's um, 400 amp hours. And that's it. Let's set the capacity here. Uh, right now it's at the 100 amp hours from the old battery. So I have to read the instructions as I do it because it's can't memorize that stuff. Hold the OK button for three seconds to enter setup. There it is. It starts out with capacity. Let's see. So let's. Two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. That should do it. Notice I have the alarm off. I find that annoying. If I know when it's near zero percent, I don't need a constant reminder. So let's accept those settings. Because I press the back button. How do I get out of this? It's the back button for three seconds. There it is. So all of a sudden it went from 88% to 22%. So I'm going to plug it into shore power to power it on up. Let's review what I did. There's a um, few main steps here. One is shutting off all the power, then taking out the battery, then installing a new battery and turning all the power on again, so to shut off the power, there's several steps here. Um, you first, you, you turn off the power at, on an entryway. Um, you also turn off the shutoff sh switch, the red, off, red shutoff switch beneath the table for two. Um, you, you trip the breaker, the 100 amp breaker that leads to the, um, from the battery to the inverter that's in the battery box. You make sure that the shore power is disconnected, and I, also you get a ladder and cover the, the the solar panel on top of the trailer if you have one. Um, I just used a mattress, air mattress that's de deflated and that covered it up. And you you check that all that has 
then done correctly by making sure the battery monitor shows that there's nothing going on. So here, if you can see the battery monitor, it should be plus zero amps and zero watts if everything is really shut off. Right now I'm at 102 amps, I'm charging it up um, to 400. But, so let me verify it's off. By the way, when you have the um, that cutoff switch, that red cutoff switch underneath the table for two, that never turns off the battery monitor or the solar controller. Those are really not supposed to ever go off unless you, well, this, the monitor could go off, the battery monitor could go off, but the solar controller is always supposed to be on as long as there's power coming from the um, solar panel. Otherwise, you could damage the controller. So that's why you cover the solar panel um, so you could safely turn everything off. Um, and the way you safely turn everything off is just disconnect the battery terminals. So you have everything dis disconnected and you take out the old battery. Um, then you take out the brackets. There's two, there's three brackets, um, on one, one on each side and, and one in the front between the battery and the inverter. So you take just you only need to take out two because it's wider and longer than the old battery. Um, then you drop in a new battery and you mark the sides the new because it's wider and longer where they are. Um, take out the battery again, and then you screw in the brackets. Then you um, also I threaded threaded webbing through, and I extended the webbing using some webbing I had for my backpacking gear. It's just one inch nylon webbing. You get that at any um, um, backpacking store or, or you get online. Um, so. I had plenty of webbing, and, and now I could um, take out the battery without disassembling anything. All I have to do is unstrap the web, webbing. So then I inserted a new battery, fitted in between the brackets, and cinched up the webbing, um, made it real tight. I reconnected the battery terminals. You connect the, the red first, the positive first, then the, the black. Then you turn on the um, breaker leading to the inverter, and you turn on the switch leading to the Inside, um, on the at the door entrance, um, turn on the inverter too at the door entrance, and everything worked. And then I plugged in shore power. And I took off the cover from the um, solar panel on the on the roof, and now it's charging. Right now it is at 104 amps. It looks like it has another seven hours and 41 minutes to charge, and it's just working nicely. Um, so if you have any questions, you can leave some comments or, um, and also, also the, okay, the, the supplier I used was Rebel Batteries. They're, um, a, a small outfit in Texas. Um, it's basically a sing, uh, one guy there. Um, he, he, he orders, um, batteries from China, um, has them shipped, make sure they're, is quality control and the advantage of ordering from him as opposed to directly from China in my mind is that um, you get a better customer service and there's um, I don't have to worry about being cheated he has a good reputation and um, you could return the battery and and he also would take it back if there's anything wrong with the battery um, and also you I emailed him questions and everything his name is Aaron Arn, and he's pretty good at getting back at me and res responding. By the way, I did download the Bluetooth app. The battery has a button between the positive and negative terminals. So you press that, and the but when the button goes on, it turns blue. And then you could use the, um, the Android app. Um, so you, he, he suggests downloading a a administrator version but I had problems using that so I just downloaded one from the, the web and I'll have a link to that. Um, the name of it is hard to remember. I think it's X I A O X I A N G three. So you type that into your search box in, in Android. It's also there's also a um, a 
Apple iPhone version too. The iPhone version, iPhone version seems to work better from what I read. Um, but it provides basic information and shows a, shows a state of charge and what's happening in there. I'll include a screenshot um, in this video just so you can see what it's like. So um, that's it. Bye.